witchking.com here is another sword and this one belonged to Thorn Oakenshield anyhow this is the officially licensed deathless sword and this one was made by Noble Collection my favorite aspect of the sword is hands down the hilt that's a solid metal it's not hollow anyhow the sword is very very thick it's about five millimeters thick roughly and the sword weighs in at a crazy seven pounds for those overseas that's over well over three kilograms here it is in the hands, kind of hard to get it on a video, but I would say that's about a hand and a half. You can see there, the hilt is about a hand and a half, and you will need both hands to go beat down some orcs with. Overall, it's a good looking sword. Oh yeah, there's the display plaque, and they did a damn good job on that. You can see this is some type of metal on here, and this is where you put your deathless on. So anyhow, this goes through there. I will demonstrate, but it's a little bit trickier with one hand. Anyhow, flip that over, and there's your display plaque. That's pretty well done. I like the way this is the metal. Not just cut into the wood. But yeah, like I said, it weighs about seven pounds. Let me try and grab this with, with one hand. It's got to hold it upright. That's some serious weight on that beast. Uh, that cutout is really nice. You can see how thick the blade is. Anyhow, but yeah, this is Noble Collection. And United was supposed to make it, but Noble beat them to the punch. I hear a woodpecker in the background. Okay, let's see how that sets in there. I'll go ahead and do it with one hand. Tell me that doesn't look good. That's a very unique way to hold your sword. So like I said overall, I'm really impressed with Noble's execution of this blade. It's not sharpened. I'm not sure I'll get an edge or to hold. I have sharpened many stainless blades with my bench grinder. You may have heard that in past videos, but who knows what this would do. Has a weathered finish on it. Oh yeah. Um, the whole theme of Dwarven weaponry, armor, helms, etc. There was no curved edges. Everything was angles, angles, angles. So you see that recurring motif in all their equipment, armor, daggers, helms. So that's what I really like about Dwarven gear. And then Thorin, he, of course, begins his quest in the Hobbit trilogy with this sword and he graduates to Orchrist. He finds it in, in the cave troll somewhere. But the Orchrist was Elven. And that's the reason why that had the remember that sword had the Elven runes and curves. 
All right, overall pretty good looking sword. Glad it was made. If you want to complete your collection of Thorin gear, this does look excellent next to Orcrist. Look at that detail. And again, that's really solid. And it's a good size, fits in your hand nicely. Even though the ore crystal is called the Goblin Cleaver, this is more of a cleaver to me because it weighs so much. This is more of a cleaver than a sword. It's a one-handed hit on one time. It's not a sword because of the weight. You can swing around much. Not bad, Noble. Witchking.com.